Hey, friends. Tonight, I wanted to talk a little bit about the pros and cons of thrift shopping. I'm a huge thrift shopper. shopper. Ever since I was probably in high school, I have saved hundreds of dollars thrift shopping. I think that's not an exaggeration. I love thrift shopping. So that's a huge pro. You save a ton of money. And there's so many cute things at a thrift store. A huge con that I've heard about is some people don't feel like they know how to thrift shop. Uh, they don't know what to look for. And the hard part about thrift shopping, the huge, a big con as well, is that you really can't go to a thrift store and be like, I wanna get this today. Especially if you're specific. If you're like, I want a pink shirt with lace on it and bright yellow leggings. Not that that would go together, but you're probably not gonna find that. So you have to kind of go and cruise around and kind of just buy what you see that you like. So that becomes a con because then you become a hoarder. And at me personally, I'm a minimalist, so that can be a problem. I have to really focus on what I do and don't need as a thrift shopper. Uh, sometimes good deals don't mean that you should buy them because you can end up spending more money, saving money, if that makes sense. So that's a big con as well. So there's a lot of cons, but a big pro is it's so much fun. You can find some great deals uh, on clothes and furniture and home decor, anything you can think of, everything besides food, which would be gross. But I like, let me think, I got, my husband and I had this challenge where we each got $15 to buy a new outfit. And my husband went to Ross, which is also a really great store. It also has amazing deals. But he was able to buy one shirt. When I went to a thrift store and bought a super nice outfit with like a hoodie, a t-shirt, I think uh, sweats as well for the same amount of money. And they were really nice, like almost brand new, great condition. So if you know what you're looking for, thrift shopping, you can save a lot of money. I think it also includes Facebook Marketplace. Uh, with Facebook Marketplace, it's kind of like an online thrift store. We were able to get our couch. We don't normally spend this much money. We were able to get our couch for $500, which is a lot of money, but it was like almost brand new. And we looked up what the couch would cost originally, and I think it was close to $2,000. So hey, we like saved $1,500, and we really need a new couch. Another example about like, Facebook Marketplace thrift shopping. Uh, my kids needed a bunk bed. They've grown out of like little twins or toddler beds. So we found this bunk bed, it was $100. We sold their beds for $75. And the bed had just been bought by the owner the month prior, brand new from the store and didn't want it anymore. They just didn't like it. And so we pretty much got a brand new month old bed for $100 when we would have paid like $200, $300 for that bed. Anyways, so thrift shopping saves you a lot of money. I can't even express that over and over again. I think also a huge pro to thrift shopping is you're in saving the environment like crazy. Can you imagine if all of us threw away everything that we only used brand new, I think that we would be just junk everywhere. We would not have a place to live in this earth. So it is so great that everyone can recycle and reuse these things, these little treasures. I love thrift shopping. Another pro is you can make money thrift shopping. That sounds kind of funky as well, but you can go and find things at thrift stores um, redo them a little or dust them off or whatever and resell them for more than you bought them. Uh, now this might sound like a dishonest thing, but you are the one that's, you're like the manufacturer and you are the one that's making it in working order and then selling it. So I've sold like dressers that I've repainted 
that's taken me maybe two hours to repaint. Um, and I bought it maybe for 15 or $20 and I'll sell it back for 50 or $60. So that's a huge income. Um, I don't do it a lot, but when I have a good deal and I feel like I want to be creative and be a minimalist at the same time, I buy and sell and I have the satisfaction of having that item for a couple of days before selling. That sounds really dumb. But again, pros and cons of thrift shopping. There's so many more on our website, prosthencons.com. I will post the exact website article in the description below. I hope you have a wonderful night. If you want to add more pros and cons of thrift shopping, please put them in the comments and subscribe. Thanks. Have a good night. Bye.